everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before you and I thank you and I praise you for this day that you have given us. Father, we are halfway through our week and I glorify you because at least for me, I know that your presence has been with me. I know that I have felt the touch of your Holy Spirit and I thank you and I praise you for that. I thank you that even through our struggles and our hardships and our heartaches, you are there with us. Father, I ask that you will comfort those who are hurting right now, and that you will give wisdom and discernment for those who are needing to make very important decisions, and that you will comfort those who are grieving a loss of some sort, whether it be a loss of somebody they love so much, or the loss of a job, or a loss of a relationship, whatever it is, Father God. I ask that you will comfort them. You will be their divine healer and you will give them peace. Father God, I ask for those who are struggling with their faith. Lord, you know that we are being attacked on every side by the enemy and he is seeking those who he can destroy. Father, I ask that you will station your angels around those who are struggling. Protect them from the evil one. Visit them with dreams or words, waking up with words or a song of encouragement, Lord, so that they can feel your presence, that they can know that it is you. Father God, sometimes all that we need is a touch from you. Father, touch those who are needing it today. Those hearts that have been turned so cold and hard as rocks, break them, Lord. Touch them, Lord. Soften them so that they can receive your word, so they can repent and turn back to you. Father God, I ask that you will be with our youth. You know the struggles that they are facing. You know everything that is going on. Father God, touch our youth and bring our youth back to you. Father, do not leave us alone and don't forget, Lord, your promises. Thank you that they are faithful and true and you are faithful no matter what. Father, I ask for every single parent who is grieving the loss of the spiritual lives of their children, the children who have turned their backs on you. I ask that you will give them wisdom and discernment as well, Lord, to know what to say and when to say it and know when to be quiet and not say a word. Help us to choose which battles that we will fight and help us, Lord, to love unconditionally, just as you love us unconditionally. These things I ask in your son's name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, If they ask you to pray, pray. It was written by Natal Diaz Gonzalez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from James chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. So says the word of God. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Elijah was a man with a nature like ours, and he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. And it did not rain on the land for three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth produced its fruit. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Most of us can testify that at one time or another, someone has asked us to pray for them. And over time, the same person has called us to thank us for praying and takes the opportunity to tell us that God answered their prayer. How wonderful it is when we have truly prayed with responsibility and consistency. However, sometimes we don't remember the person's request until the moment that they are calling us. How do you feel when that happens? Does it matter to you? Do you justify yourself by saying, I've had so many things on my mind? Or do you get sad resolving that it will not happen again? We must take the need of our brethren seriously. 
praying for their requests as if it were ours, because they saw in us someone with whom they could be united with to raise their plea to God. Scripture says, If two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. That's taken from Matthew chapter 18, verse 19. Amen. My brothers and sisters, consider it a privilege when someone comes to you with a prayer request. When they come to you and say, brother, sister, please pray for me because such and such is happening. Or pray for this or pray for that. Because God is the one who put you in their mind to pray for you. There's reason that they are coming to you, my brothers and sisters. And then when you take on the responsibility of praying for somebody else's petition, pray as if you were invested in that request. Pray as if that request was your very own with the same fervor, with the same earnesty, pray for them as you pray for yourselves or the things that is important to you. The Bible tells us that we are to carry each other's burdens. We were never supposed to walk this walk and live this life by ourselves. We are supposed to have fellowship with one another and help each other carry each other's burdens. My brothers and sisters, praying for each other is one way that we can help our brothers and sisters carry their burdens. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory.
Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen.